Hello Lazy Dancers, welcome to Lazy Dance Tips, I'm Alessia. Today I'm inviting you on your floor, on your mat and work on our strength stretching and really working into those deep stretches. I know there are going to be moments during the deep stretches where our mind tells our body it hurts but we want to have this conversation with our mind and say that's okay relax we're gonna get there and we want that pain to become good pain and almost kind of comforting. So let's find this time into these deep stretches to release all the muscles to get into a lot of breathing a lot of oxygen that our body needs into elongating and feeling free again into our body let's work on the conversation with our mind and reassuring that our mind everything is going to be okay so join me on the mat join me on your floor or on the rug and let's stretch it all out nicely and gently let's do it here we go. Today we're going to take our time in each and single position. I want you to think about your what your mind is saying at this point because I know I've been there every time we get into a stretch that hurts that you go I can't go any further. I can't do any more. It really really hurts. So one I, I want you to um, Talk to your mind and say that's okay. It's going to get easier. It's going to it's going to ease off and at some point when the pain it's a usually good pain it's the pain of stretching and letting all the uh, all the muscles relax your 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 body will relax with it at, at the same time so talk to your mind and saying and reassuring that it's gonna the body is gonna be okay in this point and every time that you feel your uh, muscles tightening up and fighting against what you're trying to do and especially releasing into deep stretches um, breathe a lot of oxygen in remember that your body needs a lot of oxygen and your muscles needs a lot of oxygen in order for the blood the blood to flow around so don't don't take short small breaths and go <laughs> it hurts but to really release it and really take that big long breath in and out to give your body a little bit of um, relief as well but the most important one is your mind your mind is gonna is gonna talk you out of it so again reassure your mind that is gonna be okay even when stretches are gonna be super strong in a way especially in deep stretches from here I just want you to start relaxing a little bit I want you to breathe and I want you to close your eyes and at the same time I want you to think about your think not only think about it you should place your hands and um, your feet in a butterfly your legs in a butterfly it doesn't matter where you're at you can be up here you can be down splashing on the floor but the most important thing that I want you to think about is your sit bones where your sit bones are at the moment if they are down the back or they're facing forward or if they're facing the back I want you to really feel the sit bones and sit on top of two little, two, those two little river, I call them reverse mountains because you can feel them, they're just holding on there. Very good. And if you're sitting down the back, I want you to engage the core and engage the back, the core and the back to really sustain everything. And stay there and breathe. Very good. Grab your ankles, close your eyes. Breathe in and breathe out. And every time you breathe out, you want to grab your ankles even more and pull your body towards your ankles. Release those hips. Very good. Breathe in and breathe out. And every time you breathe out, pull your body towards your feet even more. Not your upper body just from the belly button. Imagine there is a, um, a rope from your belly button, a string from your belly button to your uh, heels. And every time you breathe out, breathe in. That string is pulling you 
from the butt, from the belly button, it's pulling you towards your heels. Very good. Breathe in and breathe out. Now I think there is another string from the middle of your chest that is pulling you towards the top of the ceiling towards the ceiling very good breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out that string from the middle of your chest is still hanging on from the ceiling very good. Release your hands and place them on the floor. Beautiful. Breathing. And breathe out. That string from the middle of your chest still pulling towards the ceiling. Very good. And now that string that goes from the belly button to your heels is nicely secure and tight. Very good. Think your hands are spiders, unless you don't like spiders, but they're quite cute. Sometimes, big eyes. And your hands are crawling away from you. And the more they crawl away from you, the more you push your, they push your body towards your feet. Breathe in. And breathe out. The string from your chest is still pulling you towards the ceiling. Open up the chest. Very good. Breathe in. Breathe out. And with every breathing out, your spider hands are moving away from you. Very good. This is your maximum, stay there. If you want to go further, your hands are now crawling towards the side, not only opening up your chest, but letting the weight of your body go down all the way towards the floor. Breathe in. And breathe out. Every time you breathe out, your head becomes heavier and heavier and heavier. Breathe in. Breathe out. Don't fidget. Don't fiddle around. Stay there in that position. Your mind will try to get you out of it. Don't fiddle around with it, just reassure it, it's gonna be okay. Breathe in. And breathe out, very good. Breathe in. And breathe out. One last one, breathe in. Breathe out. This time with when you breathe in, your spider fingers are coming back to pull you up into beginning position. Very good. Nicely, gently take your legs and bring them then to the center. From here, just to give it a good release, drop the legs from a side. And come back in, drop in the other, come back in, drop aside again, and up, and in, and up, up, very good, same principle, this time we're going to have a straddle, I'm going to go into a straddle, I just said it. <laughs> Very good, one leg to the other and one leg to the one each side. Yeah, duh, let's. 
Very good. From here, same principle as before. Think of the two sit bones, two reverse mountains really on top. Yeah, they're not inclined on one side or inclined on the other. Right on top, perfectly on balance. From here, I don't want you to tighten anything, release the muscles today. We're just gonna let it go. Yeah, breathing, very good. The only thing I'm worried about, worried about, and I gotta think about is your knees facing up towards the ceiling. Don't let them come in towards the ground, yeah? Let them keep, keep them up there. So two strings attach to the ceilings from your knees. Very good, same thing up here. I'm gonna shuffle down the back a little bit. We are going to have our spider fingers again. We're gonna breathe in, breathe now. Think about that string now again, going up towards the ceiling. Breathe in, breathe out. And wherever your spider fingers are taking you, stay there. If this is your max, stay there. Again, careful at those knees, wherever they are moving, and wherever they're going, leave them there. Very good. If this is your max, stay here. Or even up here, doesn't matter. What, what is important is the form, yeah? This is not gonna take you anywhere. We're not stretching anything. This will. Yeah, because we are not only stretching the muscles, we're using the muscles to keep in a certain position. So that will get easier and easier at time. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And again, if your spider fingers want to take you all the way, keep them there. Don't let them drop. I want you to have that core engaged at all times, side of the body still nicely engaged. Very good, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out from here. If you can let go, let go, elbows up forehead down very good so we open up the chest and the shoulders we don't let them drop breathe if you can touch your belly button to the ground very well keep doing that most important remember knees are not touching the floor the knees are still attached to that string that is pulling the kneecaps up towards the ceiling. Very good, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. If from there your crawly hands have got the strength, take them to the side, open up the chest, open up the shoulder, find a little bit of work of resistance, of the hands, of the arms. Breathe in, breathe out from there if you can. If you're up here, still think about that movement of the chest towards the uh, string, towards the ceiling. If you're down here, open up, open up the chest towards the ceiling. Very good. Slightly awkward, but that's okay. Something new. Breathe, open up the shoulders. This is good to mobilize the upper back and to strengthen. Breathe. Crawly hands coming back in. Engage the core. Come back up. Very good. Breathe, take your legs in, give it a good shake, keep on breathing, take your time. We are going down onto our back, no, onto our knees, just to get into a nice stretch downward dog. 
from here, breathe, push your legs out of the way, very good, they're over there, say hi pussies, very good to see you, breathe, stay there, don't fiddle around, you can paddle around, paddle, 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 go for a walk, very good, mobilize, beautiful, go. oh yeah, nice stretch, breathe in, Breathe in, breathe down, breathe out. And then at a certain point, whenever you feel ready, press both heels down and find stillness. Breathe in, breathe out, very good. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Bend your knees, get onto the floor, snake it through, belly onto the floor, from there, push up. And release the shoulders. The shoulders want to come up to your ears. Neck relaxing. Hair out of the way. From there, push away and still engage the core. Be really careful that we're not really sinking down into the lower vertebrae. So even if we're relaxing our, our shoulders here, we're still engaging the core. Very good. Here, breathe. Beautiful. And come back down. One more time. Very good. Shoulders nice and relaxed. We're not, we're just holding on to our core. Heads relaxed. And then from here, Push away with the shoulders. Very good. Core is still engaged. Don't let this position get into lower back. Nice. Think that there is space in between each vertebra. This doesn't have any space in between the vertebrae. This does. Very good. Keep pushing away from the floor. Breathe in. And breathe out, come back into a nice girly child pose. And on her knees. Beautiful. Stay there. From here, we're just gonna take one leg down into pigeon. Here you've got options. You can have 90 degrees and 90 degrees if you're not quite ready yet. Yeah, nice and squish. So bend leg at the back, bend leg in the front. If you want a little bit of more challenge, you can have legs straight at the back. If you want a super extra challenge, plant the foot down there and stretch your knee you get a very straight it's like a it's like doing a lunge when we're standing but down here up to you your option your uh, your body right now whatever it feels good from here we've got our crawly crawly spider hands right in front of us chest nice and open wherever you are it doesn't matter again leg bend leg bend at the back straight or planted i'm just gonna go for a halfway so leg straight back breathe breathe in crawly crawly hands spidery hand very good go wherever you can chest is still up for now breathe in breathe out Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. 
breathing. Breathe out. Breathe in. This time with this breathe out, crawly crawly hands are getting wider and away from you. Your head relaxes onto the floor. Keep the crawly crawly hands still active, don't relax them down. Keep the opening of the chest and the shoulders. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take a crawly crawly hands to the side, open up nice and wide. From wherever you are, keep your head onto the floor. Lift your left hand. Crawly, crawly back down. Very good. Lift your right hand. And down. Lift your left hand. And down. Lift your right hand. And down, uh, very good. Let's just check in. Checking in with our extremities and what they're doing. Breathe in. On the breathing out, take your crawly crawly hands on top of your head again. And then take your body back up. Crawly 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 hands. Very good. From there, push. Chest towards the ceiling, towards the back, breathe, a little rock, side to side, beautiful, coming back in, nice and gently, take your leg, switch around, two legs, double of the fun, other side, pigeon, breathe, Start here, or here, or there, or foot planted for extra stretch. Very good. Wherever you want, wherever you can. Breathe. Take this, this moment for you. Breathe. Start crawly, crawly. Take a moment here. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Crawly hands go all the way, and you rest your forehead on top of the floor. Your hands are active, you open up the shoulders, elbows are sustained. Breathe in, calm your mind. Saying that's okay, the pain will go, will get easier, will get stronger, will get more flexible, flexible in the body, flexible in the mind. Breathe in. On the breathe out, crawly crawly hands, we go to the side, sustaining the arms to the side. From there, crawly crawly hands, lift to the side, come back down, 
crawly crawly hand left side down right hand up right hand down left hand up left hand down crawly crawly hands go back on top of the head from there nicely gently push up come back up look up towards the ceiling up up slightly back breathe in breathe out beautiful come back in nicely gently take your legs give it a good stretch just to finish off legs back into a butterfly up here drop on the side opening up the chest come back up and rest in the out of the hand to the floor keep the sit bone both into the ground and up up usually there is one side that is tighter than the other try to figure out where the tension is and why it's holding on up up what are the positions that you take throughout the day that you go oh, that's from that position there you should change it or so you should take a little bit more care of the body especially when we're sitting standing or doing certain things be mindful of all your movements come back up let go of your hands stand up tall breathe in breathe out they say thanks to your body for everything that has done today in this deep stretch and thank your mind for not sabotaging all the work remember the mind is controllable we can control it it does what we tell us what we tell it to do so very well done thank you beautifully done and i really hope you feel nicely stretched and relaxed as well this time i know sometimes we want to go on a journey and to clear our mind and to find that peace so today i'm inviting you to sign up for the momentum calendar where you're gonna have me in your inbox in your email inbox every single day and we're gonna discover something beautiful something that maybe you didn't know was there in your life so we're gonna work on the beauty of life every single day sign up it's completely free i'm going to link it down here it's called momentum calendar so let's take this momentum and let's keep momentum into feeling great every single day can't wait to see you there and i can't wait for you to join our beautiful group online see you very soon and very well done again